Hey and good morning from Chiang Mai. It's 8 o'clock in the morning and we're gonna take our bike and drive to Bat Prata Doi Subtet. Did I say it right? Yeah. So we arrived here to Chiang Mai yesterday. We're gonna be here for 10 days and explore everything we can do in 10 days. So let's go to the temple. It's like maybe like a 30 hour drive from here. So you drive up in the mountain. On the mountain is like a big temple and a good viewpoint over Chiang Mai city. So let's go. Maybe we have to go and eat first or stop in the way. We don't really know, but we're gonna start to drive. Here is our bike. So it's a beautiful mountain drive, we arrived here at, at the mountains. Before we take all the staircase up to the temple, we're gonna have and have some food because we haven't eaten breakfast yet. And we saw just on this street a little restaurant, so let's go and have some breakfast. So Dam have already been ordering. What did you order for us to eat? Cappuccino. And for, to eat? Cacao mu haida. Yes. So we're now full and we have some energy because now we gotta walk up all those stairs over there to get to the temple and hopefully the beautiful viewpoint. When we drove here, I'm already <laughs> gonna catch my breath. When we drove here was like, I can see that the view was like foggy or cloudy, I don't know which one. So I hope it's more clear now. So I have seen some other videos from here and in the videos the staircase looks so much bigger. Like in real, it, it isn't that big to be honest <laughs> but at least it's pretty bit cold up here so then we get a little bit warm again so now we're up <laughs> and let's go inside the temple so dam go in for free because his Thai and I just bought a ticket for 30 baht. If you want to make merit, you can take a flower and a candle here and then you give a donation in the box. So we walked three rounds around the pagoda to pay respect for the pagoda and afterwards we went on the side to pray and then give the flower and light a candle and put it there with the Buddha was. There are seven different Buddha poses representing the seven days of the week, each one holding a certain significance and representing different personal traits. If you are born on a Tuesday like Dham, it's represented by the pose where the Buddha is lying down.
So I see in picture from here that the view is should be like really beautiful but unfortunately it's too much fog today so no view for us today but yeah we want to go here and check it out but it was very very beautiful pagoda right Yo. Yo. you can speak English not Swedish again in this vlog we speak yes <laughs> he Adam can speak like some some uh, words in Swedish and the thing he always says is ja <laughs> which means yes so now it's time to walk down all the stairs again and if you come to Chiang Mai we really recommend to go here it was really beautiful but now on the way back to the city we're gonna stay on some other temples and places along the way when we drove up from this month we saw a lot of places to go so we're gonna go and check out them as well So we continue to drive more up in the mountains and after a while it started to go down again and now we came to Doi Poi village. We're just gonna go around have a look in this cute little village. So we just paid an entrance fee for 10 batch each to go to Doi Poi Waterfall. We met some cute kids that live here in the village and it was fun to be able to speak a little bit Thai so I asked for their name, how old they were, they were 11 and 7 and yeah. <laughs> Before going back to the motorbike, we just stayed here to take some drink with a view. We really enjoyed to come to this small cute village, little waterfall. Of course it's touristy but it's not, not that touristy. Not if you compare to how many people it was at the temple. It's some tourists but not, you know, not too much. It was okay, it was fun to go here I think. So we would recommend to go here if you go to the temple, just drive a little bit more far and come and visit this village. So now we're gonna start to go back, we're gonna go the way back to the temple and then go down again. And along the way I think there are some other temples and if there are some other things to see, we will see. We will stop if there is anything to see along the way back to Chiang Mai. So from the village we drove up to the mountain and now the road started to go down again. Before we arrive back to the temple we stop at Mon Dam viewpoint. Mon, we Mon stop Padam. Mon Padam <laughs> viewpoint. And we're gonna see if we can have a better look of the city from here. Maybe the weather has been clearing up a bit. Hopefully. Or maybe not. Let's see. So as you saw it's still pretty foggy, so not a view for us today. We're gonna sit here and rest for a bit before we're gonna continue to drive. Before we're gonna continue driving, we just stopped by this restaurant and cafe and bought some carne amor, which is mango and sticky rice, which is one of my favorite Thai desserts. I love it. 
So we find one more viewpoint on the way to the last temple before we head back to town. And here is a really good view of the city. So let's go again. Now we arrived to the temple Wat Talat, and it was just some minutes drive from the viewpoint. So we're gonna go and check it out. So I guess you can drive down here to the temple. So this is how it looks so far and I like it already. Seems very like in nature, it seems like more old style. Really already recommend it even if I haven't seen everything yet. atmosphere here is so calm and it's so beautiful, so much nature and old looking statues and temple. This is probably one of my favorite temple I've ever been to. I really like it here, so don't miss to go here if you're going to this mountain. We stopped by this self-serving ice cream shop on our way back to our hotel and you just take whatever you want in the fridge and then you put the money here. So we're gonna, we took five different ice creams and we're gonna go back to the hotel and eat it there. So and after all the ice creams, uh, we didn't really like the chocolate and the Thai tea, but I like the sticky rice one and Dam didn't like it at all, but he liked this one better that he took. The ice cream was okay, but I don't think I would go and buy there again, you know? <laughs> right? Let me, let me buy it. Let me. Yeah? You, you like this one? Okay, Dam could buy this again, and I could actually buy this again. It, it was just because the first ice cream that we eat we didn't like, but the second one was pretty good. And I don't know if you can see it, but the mango stick rice ice cream actually have some rice in the ice cream. So after a shower and one hour of sleep, it's now time for food and we've just drive to Nima area and gonna go here to the white market behind me. Hopefully we can find some good food here to eat. It's a lot of clutters and if you go inside here, here we have the food.
if you walk to the end at the White Night Market, you also have one more food, small court where you can eat here. So this is our last stop for this evening. I guess all of this light has been here because Lori Katong, who was in Thailand um, some days ago. And also over here is really beautiful. I just want to stop here to take some pictures. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to a morning market and then we might explore the old city, go to a lot of temples and also to the famous Sunday night market.